what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another mutton 18 player card review today we are going over flashback jordan howard running back from the chicago bears this is an 89 overall card and we got gameplay with this card coming up in a moment let's go ahead and take a look at his stats 87 speed 88 acceleration 86 agility 94 carry 63 catching 76 elusiveness 89 trucking and 80 break tackle now again we got gameplay with this card coming up in a moment so stay tuned for that the next running back that we're going to review is level master 92 overall ricky williams but if there's other running backs in the game that you guys want me to cover or review they can be budget items they can be expensive running backs leave it down below in the comment section let's go ahead and see what this card can do on the field so let's start by going over the pricing on this card. On the Xbox One, you can find it for 136k. PlayStation 4, a little bit more expensive at 150,000 coins. The tough draw with this card is that there's so many free running backs out there right now, like Campaign with Sean McCoy, Level Master, Ricky Williams, and if you did rookie premieres, you probably have the 88 overall Saquon Barkley. So spending coin on a running back right now really isn't a priority. I wanted to give this card a try though because I faced it against a couple different people. And this card is incredibly tough to tackle, just a very good balance of speed and power. Now, I had go deep chemistry on him just because that's what my offense is set up for. I don't recommend that. Uh, you probably want to put power run on this card. Even if you get it just to a tier 2, that's going to boost up his stiff arm, his break tackle, and his trucking rating, which will all benefit this card. Uh, again, a great mix of speed and power. 89 trucking rating. That's number 2 in the game right behind Marshawn Lynch. 87 speed, not the fastest, but very, very respectable. And when you mix that in with the stiff arm, the trucking, the brake tackle, all those things that he has, um, you know, it's it's a very, very good combination. Sometimes, though, he did feel very sluggish in the open field. After getting that second level of defense, you're not going to outrun defenders. You want to make sure that you lower those shoulders and use the truck animations because that's going to be the best way to get past a defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation. I think I messed up with this card by running out of shotgun way too often. I don't recommend that. If you're going to run the ball, try to get behind center. Try to, uh, you know, run. Give them the power runs, not so much the finesse runs like the inside zones and whatnot out of shotgun. Again, one-on-one, -on -one, you got to use that trucking. He breaks a lot of tackles. Break tackle rating, I believe, was an 81. Uh, and he never fumbled. He has a 94 carry literally never fumbled for me once that i can remember 94 carry right now is the best in the game tied with kareem hunt the limited edition kareem hunt uh he's a terrible receiver he drops everything don't pass it to him if you're in a formation that you're going to be passing the ball sub somebody else in because you know i would throw it to him on table routes and he would drop it literally all the time here's some examples of it just stone hands he can't catch the ball he can't accelerate up the field it's just not a good situation he does have the trait fight for extra yards he definitely does that he's always falling forward um so in those situations where you need a yard or two and it's you know a, a critical situation in the game don't be scared to give it to him you don't always have to pass the ball in those situations i know passing is definitely the meta in this year's game but with this card if you need a yard or two and it's critical go ahead and hand him the ball just don't do it out of shotgun again because he accelerates very very slowly but all in all his price came down a lot uh, this card was very expensive when it first came out like all cards i think now he's still worth buying i personally would allocate my coins towards a different position being that i have all three of those cards that i mentioned earlier in the video but if you're looking for a power back a very versatile back go pick this card up i think you will enjoy it thanks for watching peace